Hello, welcome to Azure Cloud Channel. In this module, we will talk about entire tier architecture and identify the features, limitations, and considerations of the entire tier architecture style. And also identify use cases for when an entire tier architecture is appropriate. And I'll show you how to deploy a, a sample entire tier architecture with the resource manager template. So I will use uh, Azure Cloud Shell to deploy this sample entire architecture. What is an entire architecture? An entire architecture divides an application into logical layers and physical tiers. The N represents the number of physical tiers the application is separated into which typically correlates with the number of layers. We could have a two-tier architecture or even a five-tier architecture, though it's common and often best to keep the number of tiers to four or less. What are layers? Layers logically separate the application code that makes up an application. Each layer has a specific responsibility, such as handling requests from users, running business logic, or handling the storage of data. By separating an application into these logical layers, we treat each layer independently. This makes the components of the application modular and allows us to more easily maintain the application. We can optimize the application for each responsibility. The layer handling web requests focuses on its primary task, handling requests. It doesn't need to be concerned with the storage of data or running business logic. In the diagram, we can see that it shows layers in a common entire architecture. Each layer handles one aspect of the application. The business layer manages communication between the user interface layer and the data access layer. What are tiers? Tiers represent the physical separation of parts of your application on separate compute resources. In general, each physical tier runs one logical layer of the application. Separating the architecture into physical tiers comes with several benefits. The application components can be scaled separately by adding resources to each tier. The application can be more resilient by adding load balancing to detect failed resources and redirect requests to healthy systems. The application can be more secure by restricting network communication between tiers and only allowing the access that is required. Let's talk about three-tier architecture. All entire architectures, a three-tier architecture is the most common. The responsibilities and names of each layer and tier vary by application and business but a typical three-tier application has a presentation layer, an application or middle tier, and a data tier. In the diagram, you can see that presentation tier, application tier, and data tier. Let's talk about presentation tier. The presentation tier typically facilitates user requests. These could be end users accessing a web page or a public access to your applications through an exposed API. The focus at this tier is on the user experience, providing things like an interface and ensuring secure communication between the end user and your application. Let's talk about application tier. The application tier typically focuses on handling the business logic of the application. This could be handling a customer order tracking a shipment or updating inventory based on materials received. This tier is also responsible for create, read, 
update delete activities against the data tier this is also a good location to make calls to dependent services such as external apis let's talk about data tier in data tier the focus is on data storage storage of the data in tables files or other medium is the responsibility of this data tier this tier provides an interface to access the data in a three-tier architecture the data layer provides data access to the application tier let's talk about the sample scenarios when we can use this three-tier or n-tier architecture consider an n-tier architecture for simple web applications uh, migrating and on-premises applications to Azure with minimal refactoring and unified development of on-premises and cloud applications. Let's talk about benefits. Portability between cloud and on-premise and between cloud plat platforms. And also it is natural revolution from the traditional application model and open to heterogeneous environment. So what are the challenges? It is easy to end up with a middle tier that just does the crude operations on the database, adding extra latency without doing any useful work. It can be difficult to manage network security in a large system. Now I will log into Azure portal. I will, I will use Azure Cloud Shell to deploy a sample and tier architecture with a resource manager template. I'm in the Azure portal, so I will go to Cloud Shell. I will click on Cloud Shell. Now let's create storage. So it's creating so while the storage account is creating so i will just go to portal home and go to search i will just create a resource group let's click on the resource group click on add so i will create a resource group let's say my resource group entire resource group and region east us let's review and let's deploy this resource group my resource group is ready so i will open cloud shell now i will deploy i will deploy a sample entire architecture So here we can see it like Azure deployment group create and our resource group is entire resource group and then template we are using a JSON template. Let, let me enter this command. So it is running. This deployment takes approximately few minutes uh, about four to five minutes to complete. So while it is running, so I'll just open this template. So this is where my code exists. So this is a JSON template. So I'm using this sample JSON template to deploy a entire architecture. I will go to resource group and then see if we have any virtual machines or anything available. I'll just close this one so here we can see that the network network security group is deployed a virtual machine is available in the network interface sql server sql database this is still running it takes few minutes to complete now the deployment is completed so now now i will test the application 
I will run a command which will return the URL for the application. So this is a resource group and tier resource group name Azure deploy and then query properties dot outputs dot website URL. So now I got the URL and you can also see it like, you know, if you go to portal, go to resource group. Let me minimize this cloud shell and go to public IP address. So here, just click on the public IP address here. You can see that. 2147268. So here you can see the same thing. Let me click on this. So once the web browser and visit the site, open your web browser and visit the site. So we can see a box where we can add a food choices. Let me just add a pizza. So now I'll just add a sandwich. So here we can see that sandwich is not a valid option. Only valid options are tacos, sushi, burgers, sandwiches. So let me just add burgers. And we also apply tags to the resources as part of this deployment to reflect the tier the resources supporting. So let me minimize this cloud shell. So I will just go to resource group. I will just click on the virtual mission. So here we can see that the tags tier application. And if I click on a SQL server, we can see that tag a data data tier. And also we can uh, use a cloud shell to find to find out what tags we have. So let me just run the presentation tier command. And here we can see that the virtual mission disk, NIC, NSG, and virtual mission. These are all application. Uh, these are all presentation, sorry. And then now I will check the application tier. So these are all our application tiers. So here we can see that tag tier equal to application. And now I will check on the uh, data tier. So now we can see that SQL Server and the SQL Server database. So, so far we learned in this session what is an entire architecture and identify the features, limitations, and considerations of the entire architecture style and how to deploy a sample entire architecture with a resource manager template. So we use Azure Cloud Shell to deploy this sample entire architecture. If you have any questions on the entire architecture, please post in the comments. If you like this video, please subscribe and share the channel. Thank you.